What's up guys, it's June. welcome back to episode number 53 of Pokemon Showdown Live, and before we hop into uh, another RU battle using my boy Wonderbread's team, huge shout out to Comex for the music in today's episode, he's a lord, um, he remixes, per, it, like he, on a scale of remixing, he is absolutely raw when it comes to remixing, so I would check him out, um, produces some pretty cool stuff over on his channel, and um, yeah. <laughs> that that was the most like awkward plug I've ever given. I don't know. I, I tried to combine like basketball vocabulary and regular vocabulary because like uh, we were watching this other player. We were we were scouting this team and uh, someone was like, "Yo, that dude is so raw!" And all of a sudden it just like stuck. And I, I've been saying it since then, but I haven't actually had time to record, so it hasn't influenced my recording style just yet. But um, either way, this is taking forever to find a battle, so we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. This guy has Trick Room, I think. Which is scary. Um, I think either way I'm gonna lead Omastar, because even if he does lead, um, we'll see what he leads with. He leads Ambipom, which is fine. Hi, Brendan. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and get on my rocks, and, uh, we'll see what happens, because he gives me weak armor, and I'm fast. I may not even outspeed him because Omastar is stupidly slow. He goes for the U-turn and just gives me another speed boost. So I will now get at least two hazards up, which is nice. Um, I will die to, like, Elekid's choice banded HP ghost at this point, but, you know. Uh, he ends up going on to Bayonet, frisks my focus sash, and he's probably just going to sneak right here. Um, how much is another spike going to help me? Um, let's first figure out what I need to do to win. That's a good idea. Um, Meloetta beats a pretty good majority of his team. Uh, so does Rock Polish right here, and so does Pidgeot. Um, an extra 12% on... Another voice crack. Another extra 12% on uh, Registeel would be nice, so I'm just gonna go ahead. He goes for the Protect. Okay, if you want to give me another Hazard, so be it, my good friend. Uh, I'm just gonna go for another Spike, to be honest, because I can just come in with Pidgeot next turn, I think. I think that would be my play. Um, or I could come in with Dragalge, because I don't think he can knock out Dragalge. He ends up going for a sub. That's scary, actually. So I'm going to Scald to get this thing out of here. Is he, like, sub D-Bond or something? Or sub Curse? Is this some innovative set I haven't seen yet? Um, so he just doesn't attack me. He Phantom Forces. Okay. Um, this is an interesting set. He allowed me to get all my hazards up, so, you know, today was a good day. Um, because I think now I 2 it KO his entire team with Mega Pidgeot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve. Hit him with a No Guard Hurricane, which is pretty nice, and, uh, Mega Pidgeot is actually really powerful, and is going to absolutely rip this guy's team, uh, but he ends up going on to Registeel right here. I, I thought about going for the Heat Wave, but I was like, ah, I don't even think I have to predict, but I may actually, um... I think right here I'm going to go straight out into Rhyperior because it does have the Lumberry if he does choose to, like, Toxic or something. He just ends up going for Rocks, which is fine. Um, because I'm going to go for... I kind of want to SD, but I also really want to Rock Polish. Um, because if I SD, his entire team is just gone. Um, I'm going to Rock Polish first. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um because he reveals toxic i have lum though so that is quite unfortunate for you um i i it'd be wonderful if he switched here but i'm just gonna sword stance because all i need to do is just break his team because to a certain degree like mega pidgeot is just gonna come in and win so as long as i weaken his team enough then i should be okay but to be honest like, what doesn't get to... Okay, you have Protect. Uh, what doesn't get to it KO'd by plus two right here? I have, like, 830 attack right now. And I'm going to be firing off a 100 base power stab move. That's pretty good, if I do say so myself. Um, so, Registeel is gone. That was easy. Um, he'll probably go out into this and click Protect. I, I kind of want to SD on the Protect just to show that I can... <laughs> Not necessarily because it helps me at all, but he goes at an Ambipom right here. He is just going to um, fake me out, which is fine. Uh, I will die next turn to Toxic, but Earthquake still is my best play. He does not have a ground resist on this team. Uh, Ambipom would be a pretty good thing for him to sack, though. I'm not going to lie. 
just because of how well it uh, fares against the rest of my team, which is not at all. He actually outspeeds me. And he's not even skill link. He's just technician. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and die to the poison right there, which is fine. Because I can go straight out into Meloetta. And uh, go for the Psychic. Because I feel like he's going to go out into one of his two ghost types. Because they do take on him only pretty well. And uh, him only can potentially do some work versus his team. As he ends up going out into Cofagagus, which is nice. Um... Spec Psychic will kill from this range, there, so there's no need for me to go for a Shadow Ball and risk him switching out to Chinchino. Um, I think everything on his team just dies to a Spec Psychic. Um, it's really nice that I was able to get up all my hazards, and it just kind of shows this team at its full force when it comes to laddering, just because... Um, like, obviously, as I move higher up the ladder, people will become more competent and will be able to, like, spin and defog and stuff and not be, like, sub-spin Exca. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he goes out into Dragals right here. Go ahead and act like this just doesn't die to a choice spec psychic. Wow, my, my voice is cracking a lot. I, I can't tell if it's because I'm tired or it's because, like, my voice is dropping again. Okay, 1332, and we just hit 1300 in the last episode. So, we will probably get uh, to top 500 in RU this week, which will be nice because we got top 500 UU last week. Um... So that will mean that we have got a top 500 in uh, every uh, tier on the channel if I do RU. I've already done RU, actually, but I just haven't done it on screen. Anyway, so we're up to 1316, which is nice. Um, we can go for one more. We're like seven minutes in right now. And it, if it seems like I'm... If, if it seems like these are shorter, it's just because, um, you know, I have to get on a, a plane tomorrow. And I'm kind of tired because of all the basketball games and such so um i am kind of trying to pack these in here because otherwise i would not have any time to record for the rest of the weekend um and i'm fairly certain my quality would not be top notch on uh, sunday so hoping to get at least three episodes done but you guys don't want to hear about this and this thing is just going to take forever again so <laughs> i'll be right back guys I'm back, and this guy's using, like, double trapping plus four threats, which is pretty scary. Um, I'm assuming he's just gonna lead with this thing, which is undesirable, at, to say the very least. Um, he ends up leading with Magneton, which is fine. Um, I won't outspeed him unless he's, like, modest specs, and I don't think he is. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get my rocks up right here, what, because they will be pretty beneficial to me, as... He, wow, he crit me with the Volt Switch. That crit mattered so much. Uh, <laughs> um, but I can just get my rocks up here and kind of force him into Braviary or his Spinner. Neither of which really appreciate a burn, so I can just click Scald there. He goes into him only. Um, he can actually kill me with a Rapid Spin right here. And that is that thing I am not quite as fond of. So I'm going straight out into my own Pidgeot as... Um, he ends up going for the rapid spin. I am not having that. Um, and I'm just going straight away for the hurricane right here because really there's not a whole lot of reason for me not to. He goes out into his magneton right here. And I'm not sure if he's scarf or specs. So I'm going to wait on... Uh, I'm going to wait on scouting for that. If he stays in, then he's either just sacking this or he specs but he goes for the flash cannon right there which actually does a good amount of damage and i'm just gonna hp fire because honestly pidgeot beats his team it's just a matter of uh, weakening his resists um so hp fire just kills which is nice that isn't even adaptability boosted um but now that that thing is gone once i get rocks up what actually beats pidgeot like i can you turn on that hurricane is gonna do a nice chunk to all the rest of his team basically but anyway i'm just gonna go for a dragon pulse right here because if he wants to like set up rocks or whatever yeah he does so uh i'll be able to just knock out dougie right there which is really nice um it sucks that i won't be able to bring omastar back in but i can always use it as fodder if i really need to um also hitmonlee does a lot of work versus his team assuming i hit my high jump kicks because i can fake out for my normal gym get the unburden boost and just completely ravage through the rest of his team so this team is actually a lot of fun to play um it's just a matter of kind of getting into the rhythm of playing again because i haven't had a whole lot of time to play this week i want to try a contrary superior in ru because haven't gotten to do that yet and i feel like it would actually be pretty good but anyway 
this is a Meloetta. And I'm just going to die. Unless he goes for, like, sub, which would be a Lord play. But, um, he's probably specs. I'm just going to go straight out into my own Meloetta. <laughs> because why not? And I'm going to go for the U-turn right here. Because this does a couple of things. One, it allows me to scout if he's Scarf. He either just want a speed tie or something. But I can hit him with the U-turn right there. And I can go straight out into my own Hitmonlee. Yeah, I think. Is that the best play? Is that really the best play? Um, or I can go out into Omastar, sack Omastar, come back in and Hyper Voice. I think I'm going to do that. That seems like a much more appealing play. And so I can just go out into Meloetta again and click Hyper Voice. I know Psychic won't kill me. And uh, this allows me to eliminate. I clicked Hyper Voice, right? I didn't click Psychic. I'm just going to click that just to be sure. Because, you know. Um, the thing I'm fearing is that he's soundproof of Bomb of Snow and he's just going to come in and get a free kill, which would suck. But, you know, Hitmonlee is there for a reason. And I trust Hitmonlee. I, him only, I have my full trust in you that you can hit, like, three high jump kicks to win this game. Although, you know, I've seen worse today, so, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if I'm not able to hit those. Also, my computer may die, so we're gonna see if, uh, I can make it through the rest of this live without my computer dying, because that'd be interesting. Um, I'm at 14% now. And we'll see if I can finish this match in like 10 more turns. But anyway, I win two speed ties in a row. That's pretty sick. And uh, I'm able to knock out his Meloetta right there. Um, also, let's... Uh, what does he have? To t he doesn't have a thing for him only at this point. Which is really nice. Um, I can also just go out into Pidgeot and pretty much get a free kill once I weaken his Braviary. Um, if he goes out into Hitmonlee right here, then I for sure get a free kill. Um, he goes out into Obama Snow, which is fine. Um, Abomasnow is actually a threat to my team. Uh, he doesn't go for the Ice Shard. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice right here as he goes for the Ice Shard, so I'm gonna lose to this SD set right here, I think. That's a, that's a tad bit unfortunate, is it not? Um, let me think. Can I still win this? I think I can still win this. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake out here. That didn't even come close to killing. That was disappointing. I have to pray that I live. I'm going for a knockoff. This should kill. Right? I'm going to go for an HJK. I'm a real man. Uh, I just died. That was nice. So uh, I ended up getting swept by SD bombs. No, pretty cool set. Not going to lie. Um, but that's going to go ahead and end off uh, today's episode. If you guys did enjoy... Please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for this stuff. Oh, uh, never mind. Never mind. I pretty prematurely called that. Um, if I get confusion and hit on his Braviary, I have a chance. If he goes out into Braviary right here, I think I win, because I can rock polish, and then as long as I hit my Stone Edge, I win. Um... I don't understand why you did not Ice Shard right there. I was dead. Like, I understand that I'm a Rhyperior and I have solid rock. But you're a plus two Mega Bomb Snow. Adamant. I was beyond dead. Like, deader than dead. You know that phrase? Like, dead as a doornail? I was like the train that hits that doornail. And just, like... That Obama Snow was the train that runs over the doornail later, and it's just like, yeah, you're, you're a horrible doornail, and it's just like really degrading. But anyway, I'm going to click Rock Polish right here to avoid, oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, yeah, that sucks that that had to happen for him, because now I just win. But he goes for the Mock Punch right there. Um, yeah, he would have killed me with that high jump kick, so that's unfortunate for him, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Um, he's mad. Understandably so. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like. If you really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel, and, uh, also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, um, let's see, what should the comment question of the video be? Um... 
What type of music do you guys listen to? Um, I listen to a lot of rap, especially during basketball season. But then I also really like uh, Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley and uh, some 90s music, which is pretty cool. Like Alice in Chains is not bad. Um, Marcy Playground is not bad. Uh, but you know that that sort of thing. So anyway, and with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop.